guy was a pain to, I don't know what I'm going to do about making the bracket mounting thing for this. This is temporary, this piece right here. But looks like there's lots of room for a, a duct. So that's good. All right, so the last view you guys saw was actually weeks and weeks ago. Um, I've been testing out the setup and changing up a few things. So you notice that it looks a little bit different from the last few clips. Um, I did get rid of that bracket, that temporary bracket that was bolted here and held, and held this um, pressure switch and all this stuff right here. Um, I went with this because it sets this piece guy back a little bit further. I wanted to, that bracket looked a little janky for me. Um, once I get my 3D printer up and running, I can probably um, create a bracket off of this one maybe and stick it right here. I'm not sure, or I might just leave it like this because uh, when I make a, do make a duct, it's probably gonna just cover up a lot of this area anyway. Um, down here at the three-way valve, again, uh, this bracket, I'm not super happy with it due to the spacing here. So once I get my 3D printer up again, I will probably print up something for that. And then you can see that because the airline goes up, um, there was no real nice way to get it to go back in there. So I end up having to do a, a, a 90 degree fitting. Um, so that's fine. Um, it's, it's holding up fine. It's not leaking or anything. And here's the new mount for the three-way valve. So you can see that it actually moved forward, um, which I wanted it to do to get away from this little blower tube. And I got it to move closer to the uh, frame rail right there, um, just to get it a little bit more cleaned up and out of the way. Um, so pretty happy with that. Um, I'll take off the bracket and show you what it looks like right now. Here's the bracket for the three-way valve. I was able to fill in the negative space on the bottom of that brass part, as you can see, to help support it. That was the, kind of the idea. This, this three-way valve is pretty heavy. So it's just being held in by these tiny little screws. So I wanted to basically get as much surface area to support the three-way valve as possible. So it mounts to the mounting point on the frame rail that this mounts to. And so I did design a um, slit in this piece that allows this part to slide in, fits in nicely so that everything fits like OEM. I slotted this piece just like this piece is slotted from Honda. And you can see the negative space on this bracket. So very happy with this. This fits nicely on here. You can see this guy right here, just fits in like that. So we'll go ahead and get it printed up out of stronger heat resistant um, plastic and then we'll be good to go. Here's a look at what my DIY bracket used to look like. Um, it was made out of a single piece of aluminum and you can see that the clearance of this tube was very tight from this bracket and the three-way valve. The plugs, the, the connectors were really close to this. It was sitting far away from the frame rail, probably like an inch or so and not ideal. So really big improvement getting it farther over and pulling it forward away from this guy to give it a little bit more clearance and give you a little bit more room to make connections. Next up off the printing press. Updates on this guy, and making some revisions for this guy right here. You can see I'm creating some more bracing. This thing is actually really heavy, and it's got again these tiny little mounts on the bottom. So, I'm trying to do what I can to support it. Doing a third version right there. And here's a look at this guy for the pressure switch. So it's looking pretty good. I was thinking about mounting it down here so this hose doesn't go over and goes straight across. But 
we'll see. This this kind of works out because I have it here. I can release this pressure this way versus if it's up and down cross shape right here. Um, releasing the pressure will get in the way of this thing. Not that you have to do that all the time, but um, functionality wise, we'll see. I might just clean it up later and move it. Create another bracket coming off of one of these other posts right here um, just to clean it up, but I'm gonna keep it like this for now. All right, and here's my first ever ABS print. Um, printed it last night and looks identical to the prototype um, PLA version of this bracket. Um, but I did print it. This is in, in um, if you know bamboo slicer settings, this is in extra draft, which is the lowest resolution they have on their slicer. Um, it's still pretty, pretty good. Um, it held up, held this thing up pretty good. Um, but uh, I did choose to make it in ABS because ABS um, PLA is no, has a lower uh, melting point. And so it's not recommended for, you know, in engine bays and things like that uh, for the extra heat. Um, this of course is going to be in the front compartment where there's going to be radiator heat. Um, I believe this should be good enough to keep it from breaking. I will test it out and put like a zip tie around this thing. Um, you know, when my, in my first few drives just to see and make sure that this guy isn't um, heating up and bending and flexing or breaking due to the heat. Uh, eventually, once I do get the duct in, it'll also help keep the heat down from these other components as, of course, it'll help redirect the radiator heat up and out of the hood. Um, but that's not going to be done in time. I want to I want to test this out first. So um, it's important that I wanted to get this printed out in ABS. Um, and uh, you know, we'll go from there. So it's a stronger material. I did print it in with uh, in a stronger setting too, a higher quality setting. Um, I pointed it, uh, printed it in 0.2 um, strength level, quality level uh, in the bamboo slicer. And it does feel a little bit stiffer when I try to flex certain parts of it compared to the PLA prototype. So um, I'm gonna throw this in. Next, I'm going to print that guy right there, the pressure switch bracket and ABS. Um, then I'm going to, you know, remove my prototype um, bracketry for the duct, and then go drive the car around a little bit and see how these things do in in the in the heat without the duct. Um, I do want to just make sure that they are um, the, the right quality level. You know, whether I need to, I don't think I'll have to switch materials, but I may have to. Um, uh, change the you know infill the density of my part um, you know hopefully not change the design of it I think this bracing should be okay um, but again this this it does have a little bit of weight and it is offset from where it mounts to so a lot of the weight is getting put onto this guy right here because this is this piece on the side is what helps it stay on from tipping downwards like this um, so you know if I could put it on like that, right, it, it 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 holds on itself like that, and that bracket on the side that I just pointed to is what's keeping it from tilting forward. Um, so yeah, some more testing R and D work. This is what R and D is, right? Test it out, drive it around, and um, before I release the designs, I probably will release these two designs um, for free on NSX Prime and. Um, uh, so take a uh, keep a look out for that. There is a 3D printing um, sub forum in the DIY forum on NSXPrime.com. So once I get these designs finalized and everything like that, I will probably release those for everyone who al who also wants to uh, use this kit. Um, I also for did not film this one yet um, because I guess I'll let you guys know a little bit what's going on with that. I am going to pre print a ABS version. Um, I did move it, as you can see. Um, yeah, the angle was bothering me, so I did move it down. I, short, I was able to shorten the lines, which is nice. I was able to, it got to my OCD, how it was angled, and I didn't really like that. So I'm waiting for 90 degree um, connectors for this. Uh, so that'll clean up the wire, and I'll do the wire in black as well. Um, but that'll look really good. That'll be next clip, probably. All right, here's the next iteration of the pressure switch bracket. 
I did it in ABS and a couple of changes I made are that I added on more material on the outside. You'll see that there's like a, a lump on the outside. The uh, insert was getting a little too close to the outside. Um, the wall was a little too thin. So I added material there. As you can see the old design was just flat on the outside. So I added that design, redesigned the front plate to match. I also took material off of this side um, of the support because my relay mounts up here too and the wiring. I didn't want the wiring chafing on this bracket. Uh, so I took some material out to allow more space for the, the wiring. And then I just went ahead and smoothened out um, all the edges or uh, transitions and things like that. Oh, and I also um, put a little angle cut right there, the old one used to be straight. Oh, that one doesn't have it. Oh, my old one used to be straight. Um, anyway, so this is the final version for now. I'm going to go ahead and test it in the heat of the front bay. Um, but then uh, that should be it for the um, uh, tankless cup kit bracket updates. All right, I'm pretty excited about this. We have the two brackets finally done in ABS. So these are going to be my final versions, quote unquote, for now, um, because they should withstand uh, this this front bay temperature. Um, so I just went, I did like a 20 minute drive with the white um, brackets that I did in PLA, and to no surprise, they they warped and bent very easily. Um, I expected them to do that. How easily? I didn't expect them to be like super, like they collapsed under their own weight. They almost, they were probably going to turn into goop basically. Um, but that's to be expected with PLA and with the quality level that I did, which was an extra draft. These again are in ABS and should handle the heat. So we'll see. Um, I, uh, I did have that one done on the drive and it held up just fine. So I just printed this one and installed it right now. And so here's a look with the flashlight on it. Um, so again, I cut down this side of the supporting bracket to make room for these wires. And I just installed the 90 degree um, terminal on here. Eventually I'm going to replace this with a black wire, but that's spliced into uh, another wire and going into the cabin. So I don't know how, um, I have to take some time to do that later on. All right, so what I'm really excited about as well is that bracket for the three-way valve. So the way I designed it, I designed it in a way that it can be installed easily because the issue that I ran into when I had this bracket on there is that I had to hold the bracket in place while simultaneously holding this guy up. So if you're familiar with this tube, it needs to go up and around that section right there coming out of the um, firewall. So it goes up and that like that and it just sits against this bracket like this. And so when some, the moment you let go it falls off and falls out and so that's not ideal. So holding, trying to hold a bracket on there with the three valve and put this simultaneously, put this up there, hold it against the three-way valve bracket and have a third hand to put the bolt in that wasn't ideal, so that's why I designed this bracket like this, because this allows you to just let this guy sit on there, and what you can do next is you can mount this guy up top. I know I can't really see it because I moved the flashlight. So you can push, hold this up, and what you do is you slide it in from the back like that. I know that plug was kind of in the way, but basically allows you to slide it in and out and then it stays because it's kind of friction fit between the three-way valve bracket and the mount chassis mounted bracket. And then, see I'd have no hands holding up, holding this thing up. You can just thread the bolt in. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. Uh, makes installation way easier. Everything supports itself. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited also just how clean everything looks. So let me get everything buttoned up real quick. 
All right, so as I was saying, this looks really clean. I really um, am very happy with the fact that I got that bracket to move from mounting there at an angle to mounting right there. Um, it looks a lot better going straight up and down and the hose going straight over left and down. Um, everything looks, of course, looks good in black, blends in. And so it's just overall a lot cleaner and a lot tidier. So I was able to kind of route the wires. I can tidy it up a little bit more, you know, chop a little bit of wire off here, chop a little bit of wire off that guy. Um, the wire lengths are not exactly perfect right now because I left them long because I initially didn't, I knew that I didn't, didn't have the finalized positions for everything. Now that everything is finalized, I can probably um, button up and, you know, make all the wiring the just the perfect length but that's all that's all for later um, that's all fine tuning steps so very happy next is to just work on the hood duct so that'll it be it for uh, this update on the uh, tankless cup kit um, bracketry